Launch of the program DigiEcon 2023 under the theme Accelerating Sri Lanka's Economy Through Cutting Edge Technology was held in Colombo last evening under the patronage of President Ranil Vikramasinghe. We are gathered here for the planning kickoff of DigiEcon 2030. This is a regulatory policy framework that will give directions and gesture of commitment of the government towards facilitating a digital ecosystem to all stakeholders under this program we hope to address many areas including implementation of unique digital id egov to provide digital enable services through government institutions a single window system to provide one stop shop for investors to access regulatory and administration services the growth of digital economy comes in increased risk of cyber security we intend to We present the Cyber Security Act to Parliament during the course of this year. Advances in technology and windows to the future are going to keep opening, and Sri Lanka can take advantage of that if it focuses on these foundations: building the strong human capital base, creating the right kinds of infrastructure, mobilizing private capital and innovation and investment into the economy, having the talent pool that is enabled through the right business climate. Those are the foundations on which. a sri lanka and a digital economy in sri lanka can grow and accelerate the broader growth and inclusive growth and one that is resilient into the future as far as the digital economy is concerned we have now to develop our digital policy which we haven't done so we have to do this together with the industry government spending cannot drive the digital economy the digital economy has to be driven by the private sector we should not stand in the way that's going to be our policy so we should not think of digital policy as being centered around the government but there is certainly a duty of the government to accelerate the digitalization by digitalizing the government sector what we plan to do in this government is to appoint a cabinet committee of ministers to ensure that the government sector digitalization is done fast and done quickly we should also coordinate and work together with our neighboring countries i am looking forward to the economic and technological cooperation partnership with india the infrastructure required will have to be provided by the private sector government is not in a position to do so this is one of the reasons that has led the government to privatize sri lanka telecoms we need for an investment in this way we are laying the groundwork for the government policy on digitalization we should also focus on areas that are easy for us to develop one such area is artificial intelligence second area i would say is research research is lacking in sri lanka there isn't sufficient research being done i don't intend in any way to start new research institutions what we want are the universities and the private sector to link up to plan out this policy <coughs> the state minister we speak to you all and then report back to the cabinet committee to start it off this year i am setting aside 100 million rupees next year we want the research i want to do the research with the main focus on ai and for that next year i'll set aside a billion rupees depending on how you perform then we can decide what we give for 2025 this government as a whole is determined to modernize the country and to digitalize the country and you can rest assured that we will do everything to ensure sri lanka comes out as one of the leading nations in the region as far as digitalization is concerned